Good afternoon. Welcome to Jamonley's World. If you clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast Discussion for December 17th to the 29th, for December 17th to the 21st, this is what we're forecasting pattern look like. We have this upper low over Hudson Bay, and this will continue to retrograde. And we'll see, we'll go through the, you see, moving to the west towards north, uh, northwest Canada with the ridge or above normal heights near Greenland. A trough forecast over Alaska and the Eastern Pacific. And we have below normal heights across much of the nation. We go through the days, come to the 21st, see the miles of good agreement. So um, during this period, we're going to have a storm system. Here's the first one. We'll, we'll back up a little bit. This is the GF, uh, the European. We have one system exiting the Northeast. will bring periods of snow to New England. But then we have our next system down here that will be developing. This is 7 a.m. on Sunday. We go to 7 p.m. on Sunday. And we can see we have a swath of snow here from uh, Utah into the Midwest. Mixed precipitation. And then uh, we go forward. We go to 7 a.m. on Monday. Now the precipitation spreads to, to the east. We have um, heavy rain. Oops, where's my cursor? Okay, we have heavy rain here. Across there, and then we have snow moving into parts of uh, Pennsylvania into the Midwest, mixed precipitation further south. There might be some ice accumulation in the mountains of uh, West Virginia and um, Northwest Virginia. And then we go to 7 p.m. on Sunday. Now, oops, 7 p.m. on Monday. We have mixed precipitation current around New York City into to, um, Pennsylvania. Heavy rain down to the south. Here is the low over the Tennessee Valley. And then we go to 7 a.m. on Tuesday. The GFS still has mixed precipitation, rain, snow, sleet, whatever, uh, occurring across portions of the Mid-Atlantic. Heavy rain down into the Tennessee Valley. And we go to um, 7 p.m. Sunday, the system starts to pull away. That's the, Europe, the um, GFS. Now we're going to look at the European. European still has a low down in the southwest. Then it moves in here. Now we are at 7 a.m. On, on Monday. Precipitation. Here is the 540 line here, right through central New Jersey and Pennsylvania. And then we go to 7 uh, PM on Monday knows where the 540 line is. So this is in agreement with the GFS where we'll have mixed precipitation in between here. Heavy rain current down to the Gulf Coast. 7 a.m. Monday still. 7 a.m. on Tuesday. Still showing a little bit of mixed precipitation. The 546 line is right here to the north of New Jersey. Here's the 540 line. And here's the low over uh, northern Virginia. And then it moves offshore by 7 p.m. Tuesday night. Uh, also, we will have um, precipitation move across northern California to northwest. And we're going to run into a little bit of a problem here in the west. As we will have an atmospheric river here that will um, take um, subtropical moisture and flow it into um, California. You can see right here, this is Saturday. This could bring heavy rain and also discard areas from uh, the fires that they had earlier in the year. Okay, we're gonna look at the period now for December 20th to 24th. The upper low across North, uh, is for, uh, an upper lows forecast over northwest Canada with the ridge over Baffin Bay. And downstream, we have a nearly zonal flow with the trough over Alaska and Eastern Pacific with the trough in the east. Ridge is forecast over in the Rockies. You see, there's the ridge trough configuration. Here's our so this is what it looks like this European ensembles. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting. Above normal temperatures from the plains, the Pacific coast, and I'm forecasting numbers of 2 to 4 degrees above normal. Below normal temperatures are forecast for the southeast, middle Atlantic, and the northeast, with the anomalies near 2 degrees 
below normal precipitation calling for above normal precipitation for this area here at the west coast and the central great basin probability of occurrence is 40 percent then i have below normal precipitation given a low probability because i don't know how this is going to pan out but uh, for now i'm giving it a 35 percent chance we're going to look at the period for december 25th to 29th The flow remains generally zonal. A trough is forecast over the west and the western Atlantic. A ridge forecast over the Rockies. Upstream, we have an upper low that, that lifts towards the Arctic. You see it right here. This is the GFS. And we have above normal heights over Hudson Bay to Greenland. So with that being said, for this forecast period, I am forecasting below normal temperatures for the west coast. I'm forecasting anomalies near four degrees below normal and above normal temperatures here. And I'm forecasting anomalies of two degrees above normal precipitation. Calling for above normal precipitation here. This uh, I think will be due, due to the uh, subtropical flow into this region. And I'm giving it a probability of 40% below normal precipitation forecast from the plains to the Atlantic coast with the probability of occurrence is 35 to 40 percent an increased chance especially down across this region here that's the long range weather forecast discussion for december 17th to the 29th thanks for coming to your world of weather and have a good day